Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hi. <laughs> kind of tired too. You're tired? Yes. What yes. are you tired of? Uh, Monday is the worst day because I have to wake up pretty early. 3.30 in the morning. Oh my God, why do you have to wake up so early? Because I live in San Salvador, but I'm work. I'm working in San Miguel, so I need to 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 wake up pretty early to get the transport or to move from San Salvador to San Miguel. So you, you go by bus. Uh, yes, but it's a bus of the company. Mm, okay. But uh, from Monday to Friday, I, I mean, I'm here in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Friday, come back to San Salvador because I usually I have to driving. You have to drive. Yes. Got you. That's difficult. How long do you do? How long, how much time do you make to go to uh, San Miguel? Almost four hours because it's in the frontier with Honduras. Honduras. It's not the frontier. It's on the on the border. It's on the border between Honduras and El Salvador. Yes. Wow. That's pretty far. The name is Carolina. Municipio de Carolina. The name of the municipio of the name of the municipality is Carolina. Carolina. Mm, yes, Carolina. Yes, and near near to 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 here is San Luis de la Reina municipality. Wow. <laughs> Places I will never know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Well, yes. I'm very excited today because I'm having some some advanced, you know, some some progress. I'm doing some progress on the on the car, but I'm taking it slowly, patiently. I'm trying not to get desperate, and You're so I'm changing the engine. But you directly, yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm uh, doing I'm, no, no, no. I have never. Well, well. It's just I have I have never touched a car in my life, like doing the the oil change, the common stuff. I had never done it, but but three years ago, I will say three four years ago, four years ago, I bought a I bought a nineteen eighty three Volkswagen Golf, a Rabbit, an American one, and 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 I loved it. I mean, I loved that car so much that. But it, that I couldn't fix it, you know. It got broken. the The flywheel, you know, it, it it got bad. So I couldn't repair it because I I didn't have the money. Now I regret it. I regret because I, I didn't have the money to repair that that car, and I sold it. I sold it for nine hundred dollars. Now later, two years ago. In 2020, uh, I bought a, a new one. I bought a a Golf from 1978, five years older, but in better conditions with a smaller engine. The engine is 1,000, 1.1, you know, 100, mm -hmm. 1,100 is a 1.1 engine. So it's very small. It doesn't run. And again, the fly will fail. So, ah. Uh, now the parts for that car are more difficult to find. So I decided 
well, we decided with my wife that that I should change the engine to a bigger one. So I found an engine, I found the gearbox, the gearbox, you know, mm -hmm. and I just bought it and I'm I'm going to install it. So <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's a restoration or it's a restoration. It's a restoration of the car because you're I'm bringing it to to GTI. I'm I'm doing it GTI, which is uh, Gran Turismo International. Now it's gonna be running really fast, hopefully. And well, it's 1. just one point one the the engine. And now it's gonna be one point eight. Oh, okay. It's gonna be a bigger engine. Five yeah. speed, five speed. The previous one was four speed. Now it's gonna be five speed. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm crazy. Some people tell me, you know, you you should sell that car. And no, man, I'm not selling that car. My kid, my youngest, I mean, my my eldest kid is really excited about it because I'm telling him, okay, in two years you're gonna be driving this car. Hopefully. I, ima I imagine a small car with a big engine can be can fly maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a Golf, uh, Golf from 1978, Golf A1. Uh, I just love that car. I don't know it. It has something, you know, when you drive it, it's it's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see how it turns how it turns out. So how many are we? We are eight. Oh my god, eight people around. Let's do the attendance and start the class. Today is Monday, and we're supposed to review um not only but also and both and the herd conjunctions. That's our main topic tonight. So let's do the attendance. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Excellent. Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Not here yet. Cristian Natalie Eraso Rogel. Present. Excellent. Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez. Not yet. I don't know what's going on with Diana. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good, good evening. Welcome. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Where are you, Jorge? Oh, yeah. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. No. Manuel Antonio Palma. No. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present. Will you please turn on your camera? Remember, Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. I just missing. Okay, Nelson Rene Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Excellent. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Present. Excellent. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez de González. Not here yet. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cordejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Mm -hmm. Not here tonight. Okay, let's see how many we are. We are nine, supposedly. Yep, we are nine. Okay, so tonight, as I told you before, we are going to start with a WH question, which I'm going to answer, then um, split you in trios in this case practice for a few minutes and then come back and show me what you got. Show me what you got, okay? Show me what you are capable of. So who wants to throw in the WH question? Does anybody want to throw a WH question? Very open question. Nope. Okay, let's learn something new. I think that will be more entertaining. Let me share a whiteboard. Okay, so how do you do when you want to talk about things that you are used to do? How do you call these things? Um, customs, you know, things that you usually do or uh, habits. Excellent. You got it. Thank you. Habits. 
Now, there are two ways of talking about habits, right? In the present and in the past, which is what we usually do. Habits, um, hold on. Habits that you normally do nowadays. Play soccer. Come again. Play soccer. Uh-huh. So how would you say, yo usualmente juego fútbol los domingos? I used to be oh. play soccer Sunday. Close, close. Very good. So you have I to usually... use... Go ahead, Denzel. I usually play soccer on Sundays. You got it. That's a way. Uh huh. Okay. I usually play. That that's simple present, right? Uh, let's see. How will you say, Nelson? Me estoy acostumbrando a jugar fútbol los domingos. I'm getting used to play soccer on Sundays. You got it. I'm getting used to, and this is what we want to use. Uh, keep an eye on this. Mind this. Used. Okay. I'm getting used to play uh, soccer on Sundays. Now, this is if you want to talk about something that you are getting used to. Remember that if you use get in gerund, it, it moves the verb. You know, it changes the verb into, into a transitioning stage. Um, I'm getting used to. You know what? I'm making a mistake here. This should be an infinitive. Huh. I'm getting used to. I'm getting used to see you very often. I'm getting used to my English class, to my English teacher. I'm getting used to my new girlfriend. I'm getting used to and so on, right? I'm getting used to waking up. Oh, to waking up um, at 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay? I'm not getting used to. Um, okay, I can get used to I cannot get used to. Now, when we talk in the past, how did you do something in the past? When I was a kid, when I was pequeño, solía andar en bicicleta tres horas al día. Someone when else? Was, when I was a little kid, I used to be. I used to be. What is the? <laughs> <laughs> solía. Andar en bicicleta tres horas al día. Ah. Uh, uh, drive my bicycle three hours or. Hmm. Mm hmm. You don't you don't drive a bicycle. Uh, ride. You ride. What is ride. the past? Okay. What is the past for ride? Road. Uh huh. Used to road. The ride. My bicycle. My bicycle. That's right. Three hours. Is that the way? Hold on. Victor, not right. No. No. Okay. Bicycle. That there you go. I used to ride my to road. I used to ride. I'm sorry. Hold on. I used to ride. Yeah. I used to since the verb is already in past. Okay. So I used to ride yeah. my yeah. bicycle. Uh-huh. Uh three hours. Three a day. hours per. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to ride my bicycle three hours a day. So keep an eye on this. I used to. Then you have the verb in infinitive. I used to ride. I used to hang out. So let's talk about your childhood. Let's answer the following question. How was your neighborhood? Hmm. Correct me. Is that right? Neighborhood. When you were child. How was your neighborhood when you were a child? Is that the proper spelling? Neighborhood? I think it's without T. No. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I know. This is dyslexia, I'm sorry. Neighborhood, is that the right way? Without H? No. no. Without the H. Without the H? What H? This one? The first one, yes. What? And really? The, and the G also. Neighborhood, yeah. like that? Okay. Wow. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Too bad, teacher. Yeah. How yeah. was your neighborhood when you were a child? So, you know, when I was a kid, I used to live in Santa Ana. I'm from Santa Ana originally. And, and, and that's because I was born in Santa Ana in 1982. Then we, we moved to San Salvador. And we used to, we used to live um, in Los Alamos, in Sacamil. But then my parents got divorced when I was like, I don't know, I was in 1989, I was almost almost seven years old. My mother left, left to the States and my parent, my father uh, took us with, um, my, with our grandma who lives, who used to live, I'm sorry, she passed away. Um, in Colonial Palmar in Santa Ana. So I was raised uh, in there in Santa Ana. My neighborhood used to be amazing. There were gang members, you know, La Mara, right? Over there in in, in, mm -hmm. in Santa Ana. But they were not, they were not like these guys that they, they're capturing nowadays. They used to be very friendly, you know, with others that were not from the gangs. They didn't use to mess with people. They didn't use to mess with people. And if you were not from the gang, you were fine. You know, they didn't use to mess with you, with neighbors. But eventually things changed. And, um, you know, but still we, we could, we used to hang out. We used to hang out at night. We used to burst fireworks. I mean, Christmas was amazing. We used to uh, do uh, uh, Silvadores War, you know. <laughs> that was crazy. That was amazing at the same time. We used to have new clothes for Christmas, I remember. And it was a very good place to live. How about yours? How was your neighborhood when you were a child? Any questions before we go? No. Okay. Remember that the whole point of this um, is for you to speak, to talk. So I'm going to split you in trios. Thank you, Nelson. So how was your neighborhood when you were a child? You know what? That's not the right spelling. Neighborhood. I'm pretty sure we don't have it right both. Have you checked it? We yeah, I was right. I'm not going to trust in you anymore, Nelson. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there's a, there's a G and an H. You see, I was right. <laughs> Oh my God, child. <laughs> okay, that's the right spelling. So how was your neighborhood when you were a child, guys? Let's answer this question. Let's practice as much as you can. Then I'm going to bring you back. And for one minute, you have to talk nonstop. Give me the best. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go in trios, guys. How many are we? We are 10 now. So a trio, I mean, two trios and a four, okay? No quiero nadie en este room, por favor. Let's go together. Let's get together right now. Check the minute. Let's go. Mario, please connect to your group. Silvia, I'm going to join you right now to group number three. Let's go. Mario, se une el grupo, porfa. Silvia también, para que no queden solo sus compañeros. Okay. Excuse me. Can you repeat, Marielena, please? 
How was your neighborhood when you were a child? How, how was your neighborhood when you was a child? Where? When you were. Where? I live in the same neighborhood and I like it. I love this neighborhood. And it's so nice because all my, my friends now are married and I hope that my my son uh, will have the opportunity to play soccer in, in the street like me, and it's so so nice. And I don't know what do you say, teacher? Uh, tocar las puertas, took the door. How do you say? I don't know how you say. Knock, you say? knock at the door. And the the timbre. Ring the bell in all the house around my house, <laughs> like it. and go in a rush, run, yeah, run away. Okay, pretty interesting. Well, in, in my case, when when I was a child, I, I remember in my neighborhood was uh, full of of kids how do you say a lot of kids there was a lot of kids to to play i remember uh, every month like a custom there was a, a station for maybe marbles uh, play trompo. Uh, I how do you say piscucha? Palito. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I remember was a a safety place. Uh, most of the time I remember hear about someone uh, stole the bicycle of one of the kids, but. Uh, but it's a, it was a safety place to to be in the street playing soccer or playing other other games that that uh, that was more to to run like like pecado I remember when you play with a ball in a in a hole and you go out uh, in a rush but uh, i remember too that i i don't i don't like to to go to the school i why not i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was it it was uh, difficult to to wake up in the morning. Uh, actually, right now it is almost difficult to, to wake <laughs> up, but but um, but it was okay. I I, I think. That's it. Uh, who is the next? Marilena, let's go. Me. Mm, a child. I am living when my grandma, grandma, and the house is a big house, but I little, no, little, I don't know. Pocos, como se dice pocos? A few, depends. A few. I feel um, little uh, neighborhood. Um, I don't know, maybe one or two. But my father bought a um, house in Sayapango in Oribo. <laughs> the house 
a little house. Um, many, many children, but I don't like it. <laughs> Why? Um, my sister and me, um, maybe 12. Brother, nothing. Uh, he only, only, only play in her in, in his cell phone, and he just want to watch uh, videos on YouTube. I don't know, but he never uh, go out with his friends, with him friends. I know his friends, and I don't know why because I think uh, that was funny for me when I was a child. Yes, uh, me too. For my experience. Uh... My childhood, like uh, I was telling you, it was very fun. I remember that uh, some years we, uh, every year we have a different sport. For example, one year we uh, we were uh, like a skateboard fans. The next year we can uh, go with, uh, we, we used to be, riding all the all the days with my with our bikes and that's what uh, how we were used to uh, play outside every every afternoon but nowadays they don't like to to get physical contact with our kids <clears throat> Also regarding with the sports, I remember that I, I really like to practice a lot of sport. Um, and I practice a skate, a skate, roller skate, because mm -hmm. I like that. And I, I tried to inscribe my brother, but he only went to uh, around one week, I think. <laughs> and, I, and because he think that was boring. And, mm -hmm. and I said to him, no, it's funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last year, yeah, I, 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 sorry. Okay. I teach uh, my daughter how to ride a bike, and I was very excited to 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 teach her how to ride because I I I was thinking I will buy a a new bike and both we. We can both uh, go outside to the parks and something like that. But she learning, but uh, it's like um like uh, I already learned, uh, but I don't like it or, or I don't want to use it anymore. And that's they don't like. They don't like to play outside. Yeah, and what about you, Norma? You have kids. No, I don't have a shit. Um, I live with my brothers, two brothers, and my parents. Oh. Um, I remember um, a long, long, long time in my neighborhood uh, uh, to do shows, uh, to collect fun, and to able to improve the neighborhood. How nice that, uh, that family life. I'm sorry, my pet is muy bulista. <laughs> uh, uh, I live between uh, near uh, uncles and um, brothers. Uh, I have a big family. And nowadays we occasionally uh, meet up on weekends for lunch or go on excursion. Uh, excursion. Depends on the time of each. Keep going, keep going, you're doing great. <laughs> What's going on?
Continue, Norma. <laughs> Me cortaron la inspiración, teacher, mi perrita. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I used to, I, I wrote in the chat, I used to. I, I used to jump the road. What? Jump, jump, jump? the road. <laughs> yes. I used to... Mm, que, Play, play, play with, with dolls, play with, uh, how do you say, uh, I, I used to play with cook, oh, cooking. Um, I used to play. What? I used to play. Uh, kitchen toys. Kitchen toys. Yes. Kitchen toys and yes, it's my it's my child child. What is the word? Child. Childhood. Childhood. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We have finished it. You sure? Mm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go back to see how you do. Okay. How you doing? Let's see how you doing. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, let's set the timer for one minute. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what else we need. We need a timer. Let's set it for one minute. Let's see who starts. Okay, victim or volunteer? Victim or volunteer? Victim. Oh, okay. Oh my God. My dog is smelling my knee. <laughs> I don't know why, but he's very focused on, on my knee, smelling it. It's funny. Okay. I don't know why, but let's see. So how was your neighborhood when you were a kid? Huh. Christia, what's your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color. My favorite color is pink. Pink? Yes, I really like it. I wonder if Diana is wearing a pink shirt on, on her on her picture. I think she does. Sorry, Peter, I'm driving. Oh, come on. You can drive and talk. That's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's you. I don't know how to say that. I can get a ticket. I can get a ticket. Okay. Pink. Maybe white. Huh. Pink. Marilena has on red wall and the and the, the one on the right hand side is like white or is it pink? Or... No, I, I just I just white. It's white. It's white. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god okay this is so difficult well your lips are pink christian so let's go <laughs> okay let's go with christian christian tell us how was your neighbor who when you were a kid it now was... my neighborhood when i was child um i think was very quiet also uh actually is quiet and nowadays, um, I think the child don't want to go out to to play with their their friends. So when I was a child, I I remember that I really liked to to went out and in and play and play with them. A lot of um, I don't know a lot of a, a different activities that that we don't. Um, and as I I told you. I really like to practice roller skate. What? I didn't start the timer. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let's start over, okay? You already have an idea. This is gonna give you some advantage, so no, that's good. I'm done. I'm ah, done. come on! <laughs> Let's do it again. One, two, three. How was your neighborhood when you were a child? One, two, three, go. Ah, very funny. <laughs> I think I think I have a nice neighborhood because it's quiet and and I I have a lot of friends and I play I used to play it with them uh, we made a lot of activities uh, on the street and also I I I like to use um I used to practice roller skate as I as I told you so and and at this time. I try to to teach to my brother, to my little brother, because I don't have kids, and and for for him is bored, and and I don't know why because uh, they just want to to keep in his cell phone, in his tablet, in his Nintendo. I don't know, but um, I think I have a good neighborhood. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Three, two, one. Good. Let's see. Any feedback, guys? Feedback? Okay, really quick. Uh, so we're talking about the past. I have a nice neighborhood. Are you still living in the same neighborhood? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So I haven't said anything. I used okay now guys this uh, is in past right so we need to use uh, this part this particle is in past I used to I used to and the next verb needs to be on um, infinitive form so I used to play hmm? now one little observation uh, Christian maybe your area of improvement is the simple past form of the regular verbs. Okay. Please remind me, guys, tonight at the end of the class, just send me a, a text on the WhatsApp group to send you a short video of the ED endings, okay? So everybody can practice that, okay? ED okay. endings. So there are three pronunciations. You have the t -t 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 -t. Yeah, then you have the th, th, which is this one, play the, play the, okay? And the last one, which is id, ored, wanted, needed, okay? And so on. I'll send you that video at the end of the class. Just remind me because I will forget. I used to play with them. Now, I used to play with them roller skating. Roller skate would be the device, the, oh. the, oh my God, the toy, the toy, the roller skates. Roller skating is the activity, okay? With ING at the end, roller skating. I, I used to go roller skating with them. I used to go hike, hiking. I used to go uh, bicycling, to go bicycling and so on. Leisure activities. Okay, leisure activities go with ing. Did you know that, guys? What are leisure activities, teacher? 
Ok. Actividades de recreación. Ok. Leisure activities. Go Google it. Find more vocabulary. You will find many with ING. Go shopping. How do you say vitrinear in English? Uh-huh. Sí, okay. <laughs> no. You go window shopping. shopping. Window shopping. You go window shopping. That's right. You go window shopping because you are not buying. You're just watching, right? Dreaming. At this time, I try to teach. How else can you say utualito? Uh-huh. This time. What? How else? How else can you say utualmente? Come on, you're Salvadorian, right? So utual, utualito, utualmente. Right now. <laughs> now, right now is like right now, utualito. Okay. You say the utualito right now is is utual. <laughs> right now, no. Right now is utualito. Right now. Now, currently, maybe. Okay. Currently, I I try to teach my brother. I'm trying to teach my brother. Okay. I try to teach my brother every other day. Oh, my God. There's so much vocabulary that I want to transmit to you. Every other day. What am I saying here? Someone? Christia, do you take a shower every other day? Every what? Every other day. In, I in every other day. Say yes or no. Do you take a shower every other day? Um, I, I take a shower every day. There you go. Okay. Every day, not every other day. What about you, Jorge? Do you take a shower every other day? Every, every day. But every other day... It has no sense. It sounds like weird. It doesn't make sense. It does make sense. My grandma, my grandma used to take a shower every other day. So it's she... one day yes and one day no. You right? got it. Yeah. Every other day. <laughs> it's like uh, alternating, alternating. What things do you do every other day? The water in some, in some part of the... San Salvador. Yeah, in some places in San Salvador, water runs every other day. Every other day. Yeah. True. Teacher, hey. un día sí, un día no. There you go. Exactly. Beautiful Spanish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that mean, that's the meaning of every other day. You got it. Okay. Hey, pronunciation. Pronunciation. It's not him, it's hem. 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 Literal. Literally. Literally. You gotta say hem. Hem. Okay. Hem. As pronouns, as pronouns, this guy and this other guy, as pronouns, they sound with an E. Okay. Uh, Christy, or everybody, how do you read this? Mm. How do you read this? Let's talk about it. About it? About it. About it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You got it. It. Okay. Hem. Let's talk about him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Tell him. Listen, that sounds better, right? Tell him. No, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Let's talk about it. Okay. Pronunciation. Bored. Bored. I'm bored. I'm... Be careful. It's not bored. Bored. So, again, remind me. E the endings at the end of the class. They just want to keep in his cell phone. How do you say ellos solo quieren pasar en su teléfono? They just want to stay in their phone. Someone else? Being? Being? Mm. B. 
They just want to be. They just want to be. What preposition should I use? In, on, In. at? On. on the cell phone. On the cell phone, on their cell phones, on their devices, on their devices. Hey, on electronics, electronic devices, okay? On, on the computer, on the internet, on Instagram, on Facebook. Don't say on TikTok. Don't say in TikTok, in Facebook. No, 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 no. I saw it on, I saw it on Facebook. I saw it on YouTube, etc. okay? Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. Let's move. Who is next, Christian? Mm. Jorge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Repeat, Christian. <laughs> Christian, repeat. Paper time. Jorge Humberto Vela. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, say payback time. I know. I, I, I don't understand. Repeat, pay, payback time. Not payback time. Revenge. Payback time. That, that means revenge. Payback um, time. Payback time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, George, one, two, three. How was your neighborhood when you were a child? Well, when I was a child in my neighborhood, I remember there was a lot of child. I had a lot of friends with with they or with them i play soccer almost every day also uh, also play in in the street a lot of games not just uh, soccer but uh, most of the time I remember I was from with with them some place about from most of the time, but uh, uh, I remember I don't like to go to school. I was talking to my to my classmate. I don't know why, but I remember I don't like to finish your thought. Finish your thought. Uh, I, I I don't remember, but I I don't like oh, I don't like to wake up in the morning. <laughs> okay, who who would? I mean, we are adults and we don't like to wake up in the morning. Still, I don't like to wake up. Okay, hey, what what happened to the past? That is the problem, teacher. The past. That's it, that's your area. <laughs> that's your area of improvement. Yes, almost I forgot or forget the. I repeat, I tend. Repeat, I tend to forget. I tend to forget the verbs in past. The verbs on in past. I tend to forget the verbs in past. Okay, I tend to forget verbs in past. Verbs in past. Tiendo a olvidar. I tend to forget. I usually forget. Now, one thing you didn't use, I used to. Okay. There used to be. Now, one area of improvement that I noticed on you, uh, Jorge, is that you are using wrongly there was and there were. Okay. Yes. Remember, there is, there are. That. So the same. There was for singulars there were for plurals so can you redo this sentence or there, there was, was a, a lot of child there is uh, uh, can you redo the sentence do it again there there was mm. there was a lot of child if i'm talking that uh, there were more uh, than one Yes, there were a lot of child. Hmm. You see? Children. There were a lot of children. Okay. There were a lot of children. Plural, plural. Children. You're talking about a lot of kids, right? There were a lot of kids. There were a lot of children in my neighborhood. Just watch 
out with that. So the, is, the plural is other, other problem. Try it. There's no problem. There's just areas of improvement and you can correct them by practicing. That's all. That's all you need to do. Just practice and that's it. Okay. So there is, there are, there was, there were. Singular, plural. Check this class. I played soccer almost every day. Very good. Just be careful. Played. Played soccer now, almost every day. Here, what are you saying? Yo jugué football casi todos los días. Mm, so it doesn't make sense, right? Um, yo jugué football casi todos los días. I used to play soccer almost every day. So Leah jugar football casi todos los días. That sounds better, right? I have it in the past. Okay. Ooh, okay. Past continues. Past continues, Jorge. I was wrong with them. I was wrong with them. Hmm. I was wrong. Running. Running. There you go. Um, Thank you, Manuel. Yeah. I was running with them. I was, I was running with them. Man, I remember I was running with them everywhere. I was running I with, was them running everywhere. with them everywhere. You know what, Jorge? I used to have a friend who used to play cars with me. I used to think that I was a, I don't know, a Lamborghini, whatever. And he, he loved to play that he was a boss. He was a boss doing the changes, you know, and, and running, shifting. And guess what? Now, <laughs> now he's he's like my age, he's 40, and he works with bosses. With bosses. <laughs> he 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 drives a boss. Mm -hmm. Now he, he drives a boss. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, are you working with bosses? Yeah, I do. I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> That's funny. But, Some... but I, actually, there there were uh, uh, friends that that like that likes to play to dad and mom, mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there were friends who. Okay, used to play, or actually you said liked, right? Who liked, be careful with this, liked. Liked. Repeat, like. Liked. Like. Liked. Now let's add it at the end. Like. Liked. Like. Like. Liked. 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 There you go, liked. Okay, there were friends who who liked to play, who liked playing. Okay, I don't like to go to school. 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 Easy. I don't like to go to school. I don't like to go to school. Now here you were talking in past. I didn't. I didn't like. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Oh my God! Wait, dyslexia. Didn't. Okay, I didn't like God to go to school. I didn't like to go to school. I didn't like to go to school. I don't like to wake up. I didn't like to wake up. And this is when you use I didn't used to. I didn't used to like going to, to, to school. Okay, let's see. I tend to forget. Okay, so guys, review this class. I have six minutes. During the first hour, remember, we review content. Take advantage of this. If you have, if you think something is difficult for you, tell me, teacher, can you prepare something for tomorrow about, of course, topics that we have seen before? Intermediate one, two, three, four, five. Basic one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just tell me, teacher, can you prepare something for tomorrow? I have a problem with the the first conditional, the zero conditional, the second conditional. Just let me know, okay? So we can attack this area. One more participant, Jorge. Uh, the color or? No, 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 just say the name. Uh, 
I remember Manuel wants to share with us some experience about it. <laughs> okay, um, Manuel Wanneru. Manuel Wanneru. Manuel Wanneru. <laughs> share some experience with us. Share some experience with us. Perfect. Okay, Manuel. All yours. How was your childhood neighborhood? I mean, I'm sorry. How was your neighborhood when you were a child? Good evening, everyone. Uh, I wanted to share uh, about some experience uh, in my uh, neighborhood when I was a child. Uh, for example, uh, I used to play, I think, uh, each uh, child likes to, to play uh, with uh, with friends. Uh, but but I, I, I remember uh, we, we return, we return to uh, from to school uh, running because uh, we we liked to play soccer uh, when in a in a field uh, of uh, softball or baseball <laughs> uh, when we're championship uh, they saw Turn on the lights uh, and all the field was uh, I don't know lighting uh, and we take advantage for this for these uh, times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you used to take advantage that they used to turn on the lights. Yes. So you could go and play with your friends. That something similar used to happen at Redondel El Palmar in, in Santa Ana. Oh, okay. the, 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 the switch boxes, I'm sorry, the uh, electric fuse, the electrical fuse box used to be exposed. It was exposed. Oh. Even some wires, there were some wires hanging loose and and the security guy whoever used to take care of the of the park he used to let us let us turn on the lights man and that was a challenge we used to go like okay whose turn is it no it's Jorge no it's Manuel no it's Wendy's turn who's going to turn on the lights because we were afraid of getting shocked you know yes. all the cables all the yes. cables were hanging you know so but we used to turn it on i was like okay yes i, I remember once I, I i played with my friends i was like oh my god i was like <laughs> oh so funny yeah i hope you got this words electric electrical fuse box exposed wires it's not just cables wires Okay, find the difference. When you say cable, when you say wires, wow, okay, hanging loose. Let's see, Manuel, each child, can somebody help me? Children. Each children, okay. Is that okay? Could you say it better? <laughs> each children or every children? Every child. Every. Hmm. Every. Every children. Okay. Let's leave it like that. Each children likes to play. Now, here. Are we talking in past or present? Like to play. Likes in present. Okay. Every children likes to play with friends. But I remember we returned. Now, when you say I remember, I need to talk in which pattern, in which tense. I just said it. In which tense do you have to speak when you say I remember? Past, right? Yes. In past. I remember we and here is where we used we used to. 
We oh, used okay. to return from school or at here. Is it from or to? To school. To school. Yes. From? from? From. From school. You're from. returning. You're returning from. Yes. From. School. Yes. Yeah, you're returning from school. Running because we liked to play soccer. And here you can use that. We used to like to play soccer or playing soccer when here we got lost. When we used with D or not? Sorry, used. yeah, we used to like, yeah, we used to like to play soccer. Now, to avoid sounding repetitive or redundant, you can use ing sometimes, right? Gerund. So we used to like playing soccer. Again, is playing soccer a leisure activity? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, so ing. Uh, we used to like playing soccer. And here, uh, when in a when in a hill of softball or baseball. Field, teacher. Uh, when in a field. Field. Okay. Field. So in or on. 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 On a field. What kind of field is it? In campo. A yeah. Stadium. What kind? What kind of field? A stadium. How about? on hold on we saw this before in the first class on a softball or baseball field acuérdense todo lo que califica en inglés va antes del nombre de qué es el campo ah es un campo de softball or baseball i can remember okay field so on a softball or baseball field where there used to be Mm -hmm. A championship. Is that the right spelling? No, right? Championship? Championship. Like that? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just from one question, guys. Ahora, eso tú lo puedes hacer por tu propia cuenta, ocupado de Jam Technique. Y por, te aseguro que vas a, a poder mejorar mucho más rápido. Thank you, teacher. Importante. You're welcome. Tenés que estarte autocriticando. Si tú logras autocriticarte, no vas a necesitarme a mí ni ningún teacher que te esté corrigiendo. Gracias a Dios, yo tuve eso cuando estaba chiquito, no sé, pero fui muy estricto con mí mismo. Hoy en día me digo, mí mismo, fuiste muy duro con mí mismo. So. Pero sirvió de algo. Right? Si no duele, no sirve. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Ok. So, it's 9.03. Let's move on. Any questions? Are you liking the class or do you think we should change something? Uh, do, you, do you say you can prepare some to some material mm -hmm. to the class for tomorrow, for example? About I, what? I consider I have problem with with word to connect sentence. Oh, <laughs> Oh my God! No, really. Between a lot of issues. But... Super rápido, super rápido. 2019, antes del COVID, estaba con un grupo de alumnos. No, mentira, 2018. Estaba con un grupo de adultos en la clase de las siete, cinco y media, eh, clase presencial en Regal International en Escalón. Un grupo con el que llevaba tres módulos, el tercer módulo y la mayoría eran señores. Yo estaba quemado, venía de dar nueve horas de clase corridas, se estaba quemado y me encantaba estar quemado porque en ese momento, y lo digo en español para que entiendan cómo funcionamos todos, y esto no solo soy yo, si tú tienes un trabajo que te encanta, pero te quemas, llega un punto en el que tu nivel de batería, y de esto habla The One Thing, el libro que les decía, tu nivel de batería llega tan bajo que tu fisionomía está quemada, pero tu cerebro entra en un instinto de supervivencia eran las 6 y 45 y estábamos a punto de ir al receso ya estaba, iba a punto de desmayarme del cansancio, pero mi cerebro me dijo, güey, ya no aguantas si ya vieron el video por eso digo, güey, ¿se acuerdan? es posible lo imposible, si lo vieron a ver ah, pues yes, teacher. 
ahí, de ahí viene esto, y de ahí viene esto. Mi cerebro me dijo, hey, ¿en qué están fallando tus estudiantes? Míralos, se están dando duro por querer conectar. ¿Cómo fue, Jorge? El verbo con el complemento. O sea, si no, no logran pasar, solo te están armando sujeto, verbo, y ahí se quedan. ¿Qué agrego? ¿Qué agrego, no? Ah, pues, ¿qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Se vino mi cerebro y me dijo, yo ya no puedo. Aquí está el último, así como cuando Goku está a punto de darse duro, el último pedacito de energía y la jengidama va. Mira, sí, se me vino una idea a la cabeza, se me vino un juego a la cabeza, que si todos vienen mañana lo vamos a hacer. Se llama acción, reacción, creo que le puse, pero bueno. Oh my God. Así en cinco minutos. Todos se me quedaron viendo porque yo eché la cabeza y me sobre la cabeza. Teacher, vamos al break. No le dije, no vamos a tener break hoy. Y se quedaron. Teacher, pero que usted se está cayendo y yo. No, no tienen idea. Y le digo a uno, Jorge, denme un verbo. Fulano, dame un verbo. Vamos a la pizarra. Grupo de cuatro. Fu, 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 fu. Lo armamos. Men, ese, ese día no nos queríamos ir. Salimos a, las, salimos a las ocho, la clase terminaba a las siete y media. Y armamos el juego, pudimos hacer cuatro grupos de cuatro una competencia a ver quién podía armar las oraciones, pero retándose entre sí. Men, eso estuvo de locos. Al día siguiente lo perfeccionamos. Al día siguiente agregamos algo más. Pasamos tres días armando esa dinámica y el punto es eh, entrar en ese modo bestia, como decíamos, decíamos en esa academia, en la otra. Y es el modo en el que tu instinto, tu, tu, tu instinto te, te empuja a que sobrevivas. ¿Algu ¿Alguna vez han estado ahí que ya no aguantan estar trabajando? Pero en el último minuto es como, Ey, no, hombre, ¿por qué estoy haciendo esto así? Si lo puedo hacer de esta sí. manera. <risa> so, aprovechen cada ápice, oigan, aprovechen cada ápice de electricidad que les su cerebro funciona en base de energía, decía Omar Villalobos, entonces aplaudí con las manos cuando te estés durmiendo, agita las manos, sacale la lengua al de la par, avispate y aprovecha cada ápice de energía que tu cerebro te da cuando tenés una idea, no la soltes escribila, te va a servir para toda la vida, a mí me ha servido muchísimo gracias a Dios me puedo desarrollar ideas locas que, que, que realmente vuelven locos a los estudiantes jugando, pero de una manera que, que les saca el conocimiento ¿me entendés? entonces por eso me encanta hacer eso, pero bueno, perdón le pongo hyper por momentos y ahorita no contento, so that's very important ¿ok? ¿creen que sirve de algo explicar a los estudiantes qué es lo que hago? Sí, sirve yes, de mucho, teacher. sirve de mucho, y ojo, eh, yo sé que ustedes son muy inteligentes también, si ven que estamos haciendo una dinámica o algo, dígame, hey, mire, ¿por qué no hace esto? Eh, ¿No cree que sería más efectivo si hacemos esto de esta manera? Claro, eh, hay una manera de hacer más dinámica la clase y es usar um, pizarras compartidas, pero para eso la mayoría tendríamos que estar, o todos tendríamos que estar desde una computadora y poder interactuar en una pantalla en blanco, es decir, un whiteboard que tiene Google, un Jamboard, que es algo gratuito de Google, es una pizarra donde todos podemos escribir al mismo tiempo, ¿sí? Entonces, vamos a intentar hacer eso luego también. El punto es, ustedes, yo, ya estamos viejitos, ya tenemos que irnos adaptando a las nuevas tecnologías, que los bichos de hoy, Dios mío, o sea créanme, los exámenes ya son así en la pantalla, no sé si los vieron con sus hijos, los que tienen hijos sí, ah, pues solo las respuestas veían en su celular y todo so, ánimo let's continue on our next number we need to work on your book hey. there are some exercises that we haven't done, there are two things that we haven't worked on Yesterday, I'm sorry, on Friday, Friday, we worked on page 14, page 14 of your manual, your student's book. However, many of you didn't come to the front and expose their idea on how to request, you remember, how to request the training. So, I need your help. Anybody? It said, take turns role play in a conversation where an employee presents a manager or a supervisor a structured request to access a training program. Your choice. 
to hone his or her skills. So, does anybody have the conversation, Handy? Okay. Does anybody have the conversation, Andy? <laughs> Hello? Okay. No? Okay. Look for the conversation. I will present something else. Meanwhile, but look for the conversation. Do you remember? Well, if you noticed on that um <clears throat> on that presentation, we were talking about skills. So can somebody define skills versus abilities? Skills versus abilities, please define. Hello? What is the difference between... You can, you can, you can improve your, your skills, mm -hmm. but maybe your abilities, your, you, you get, or you has, you have your abilities be, uh, from you were a, a child, when you was a child. When you were a child, Sorry. you second person, uh huh. You were a child. Okay, so what you mean, Jorge, is that skills can be developed, and yes. abilities are inherent. Inherent, excellent word. Are inherent to humans. What do you think, Norma? Teacher. Wait, Bernard. Well, Norma. What do you think is the difference between skills and abilities? Uh, ability is a natural um, strategy. Yes. Um, the skill is is um, impuesto, algo impuesto, algo is uh, uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Manuel, go ahead. Uh, I think uh, skills it refers uh, to knowledge, and um, you you can improve um, uh, if you, you have the opportunity to to uh, to develop yes um, and the 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 ability I think is when you you learn to do something and uh, you put the uh, about knowledge, um, for example, uh, you uh, you make a uh, something uh, with the, the the best way to to do it. Okay, one more opinion. Somebody else, another lady. Hey, sexy lady, turn on your microphone. I'm asking everybody to turn on the video. Come on, guys. Christia. Um, well, I think that um, the skill is something that everyone has. Uh, like, um, for example, in English, we have the skills of speaking, listening, reading, and we can improve all of them. Mm -hmm. And about the abilities is maybe, I have the ability of, of run, I think, or swim, 
and and the and another people have the different abilities. So I think that we we develop or we um, yes we develop the 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 abilities and we improve our skills. Hmm. Okay, I'll stay with that, Diego. You're very thoughtful. You're very thoughtful. What's going on? Skills for me is like uh, use some widget, for example. And ability is, I don't know, a God's done for everything. Okay. God's gift. Uh, it's a gift. Okay. Okay. I, I like that point of view. I have a question for everybody. Can you cook? Can you cook? Raise your hand. Can you cook? I know. Can you, at least eggs. I mean, eggs. Boil water. Boil water. Can you cook? Yes. Uh, can you prepare a pie? Can you prepare a pie? Yes. Okay. You four, Maria Elena, Diego, Norma, and Christia, you're skillful. You're skillful. Hmm. Very good. But I, I cannot prepare a pie. I mean, that requires more skills. Both skills and abilities, you can improve them. You can improve your abilities or your skills. Yes, you are born with abilities. You were born with abilities, but you can develop them a little bit more. En contraire, the other way around. A great coach, the Bulls coach. What was the name of the Bulls coach back in the days? Phil Jackson. <laughs> there you go. Phil Jackson. He had a great ability to motivate, to motivate the Bulls. But one day, he lost it. He lost his skill. I mean, his ability, his ability to motivate the Bulls. It, it was said, it was told by... Michael by Corey Bryan, like Kobe Bryan. He, they said it. Man, I feel demotivated. Money. Mm -hmm. Too little money for all that we do. So he didn't find a way. And then he left the Bulls, right? And then he returned to the Bulls. And they continue winning. It's amazing. Okay. So a little bit. A little bit about skills and abilities. Skills kinds i need a reader i need a reader skill oh, kinds me? teacher when you say me say your name okay christian i'm going to start with ladies then i'm going with jorge and i didn't get the other boys i don't know who talk uh mario i did but uh, oh great mario okay you're you're third okay go christian Okay, a skill kinds. Soft skills are universal and not associated with a particular job on industry. Think, communication, active listening, or empathy. Soft skills, thank you. These are universal and not associated with particular job or industry. It's just skills that you have, you know. Can you, do you have beautiful writing? Can you write beautifully? Man, that's a great skill or an ability. Okay. Thinking, communication, active listening. Those are skills. Or empathy. Can you believe empathy is a skill? Okay. Let's go with Jorge. Hard skills are abilities you learn on the job through formal education or additional training, they are teachable, measurable, and related to a specific job. Repeat, measurable. 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 There you go, measurable, very good. Measurable. Abilities you learn on the job, hard skills. Through, through, Formal education, education, or additional training. They are teachable. 
concept of this word, teachable. Add, add, the, um, add the suffix able to any word that it may turn into the capacity of doing something. Teachable, runnable, doable, <laughs> manageable, ah, thinkable, drawable. <laughs> Just add able to something and it means that you can, it is possible. It means that it is possible. Okay. Huh. Measurable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> the capacity of not thinking about it. Okay. Related to a, to a, to a specific Related. job. Specific job. There you go. To specific. To specific. A specific job. You got it. Okay. Okay. So this is hard skills. Hmm. You got to learn them. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's go with the next one, Mario. Life skills. Okay, life skills. Oh. Essential. Life. 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 Life skill. Perfect. Life skill. There okay. you go. Essential abilities someone needs for everyday life. How to dress yourself. How to brush your teeth how to tie your shoes, how to have a conversation. These are life skills. Perfect. Now be careful with these. How to brush your teeth. And I'm going to do it right close to the screen. Teeth. 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 Okay. Yeah, don't say teeth. That's something else. Teeth. Okay. Teeth. Uh huh. To brush your teeth. teeth. There you go. Wow, life skills, that's very clear, right? Self-explanatory, who wants to continue? What do we have here? Oh, let's go with career skills. Okay, who wants to move on? Me, Nelson. Go Good, Nelson. <clears throat> career skills, abilities to keep someone successful at work, professionalism, networking, time management, and leadership. Hmm. Career skills, abilities to keep someone successful at work. If you have these skills, then you will always be successful at work. Mm, professionalism, okay. Networking, can somebody define networking, Nelson, someone? To know a lot of people that are in the same uh... In the same, you got it. You had it. You had it to know a lot of people with uh, that can help you in some way in your job or yeah, what you got are it. you doing? Yeah, mm -hmm. just knowing a lot of people that's mm -hmm. networking, <laughs> working with a lot of people that's a network. They're working okay. What about time management, being efficient, efficient leadership to know how to lead people and yes definitely if you have these career skills can you mention another career career skill these are very wide very wide terms because among professionalism you have being punctual knowing how to dress how to tie a tie, how to tie a tie, etc. right? Okay. Next, next, soft skills. Norma. Soft skill, universal ability that help any career. Reading communication, verbal communication, professionally, sign manager. Management. You got it. Management. Management. Yeah, to remember. Time this management. Management. You got it. Management. 2007, estoy en una reunión de supervisores en Dell. Cierran la puerta, me llaman a mí, estamos platicando y de repente yo digo management. Me hicieron pedazos, así. 2007, en un call center y reunión de supervisores, yo digo management. Wow. 
wah, 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 wah. I was like, what? What are you laughing about? It's management. And I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Management. Okay. Professionalism. 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 Mm, Shanalism. Okay. Many words ending on ism. Okay. Socialism. Politism. Etc. Overlap. Uh, da -da -da -da. I saw somebody here. Hold on. Susana, are you there? I was looking at another girl, Marielena, but she left the screen. Oh, there she is. Okay. Marielena, can you continue overlap? Overlap, professionalist, time management, communication, creativity. Creativity, creativity. Creativity. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you understand by overlap? In this context, what might be overlap? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's more that you need to give uh, your job. The extra mile? Extra mile, yes. <laughs> it's very similar, but in this context, look, you have life skills, career skills, soft skills, and an overlap. Overlap is like the extra, exactly. It's like mere coincidence, let's say. It's mere coincidence, it's mere coincidence, mere coincidence that you know by chance, you know, how to be professional, how to manage your time, how to communicate, and creativity. These two, communication and creativity, for me, are, what was the word, Jorge? <laughs> how do you say in inherente? I forgot. Jorge, you said it. Okay, I forgot how to say inherente. So, what will be employability? Employability skills. Um, Carlos Alfredo. What hinerent. Be... hinerent. There is hinerent to the human being. Okay. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo. Okay. Um, employability skills. Again, employability Employability skills. <laughs> One more time. Employability. Employability skills. 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 Wait, let's correct that. Skills. Skills. Student. Skills. Student. Student. Stay. What? Stay. 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 Stop. Okay. Stop. 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 There you go. Okay. Again, skills. Skills. Better. Playability skills. Go ahead. Finding a job posting. Um, completing. An interview. <coughs> Completing an interview. <coughs> Completing an interview. Better. Okay. Writing a resume a resume. Oh, close. Resume. Writing a resume. Better. Networking. Okay. So what are all these? Mm. Abilities to find apply to, interview for, and secure a job. You got it. So if you have all of this, uh, you got a job, okay? And that's what I, what I look for in people when I hire someone is skills. What are you good at? What are you good at? How can I tell is, if somebody is creative, which is for me, for me as a teacher, as a supervisor, as a recruitment uh, supervisor, Having creativity is, is the best you can have in a person. Other than self-esteem, autoesteem. If you have someone with self-esteem, you need creativity next to it and you're done. I mean, that person can do whatever you want. Being creative is a great 
a gift from God, as somebody said. Okay, so again, we have hard skills, soft skills, okay? Profi proficiency in a foreign language, that's a hard skill, you can obtain it. A degree or certificate of any kind, that's a hard skill. Typing speed, machine operation, and computer programming. The only way to obtain this is through experience, practice. That's all. Soft skills, you may have it. Communication, you can talk to people. Flexibility, you're, you know how to bounce between things. Leadership, yes. And I think this has to do with how you were raised. If you know how to be a leader, then it's how you were raised. Teamwork, the same thing. If you had brothers and they taught you how to work with them, that could be very useful. Si dividías el fresco con una regla con tu hermano, then you know what is teamwork, right? Time management, <laughs> yes. The soft skill is the same when the team, the research team, uh, request uh, habilidades blandas. Yes, you got it. Perfect, perfect. Beautiful Spanish. That's habilidades blandas. I like that word. Excellent. And so on. And abilities is a synonym with capability, potential, or capacity. It determines whether or not. Can somebody translate that? Whether or not. Si or no. Si or no. Uh -huh. You possess. Hmm. The means to do something. You can do something. For example, good communication skills, critical thinking. That's a great gift. Working well with a team, self-motivation. Okay. Do you need someone to be pushing you all day? Come on, man. You're the best, Mario. You can do it. You're oh my God, you're 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 just the, the salsa in salsa. It's the way we say in Salvadorian. I mean, do you need somebody to be telling you every day that you're good? Or do you do it to yourself every day? Oh, keep in mind that. Um, being flexible, meaning I can work as an accountant, but I can also work as an auxiliary. Eh, why not? You know, my wife has that problem right now. Her aux auxiliary accountant auxiliary uh, quit. The guy just left the company. He didn't want to work anymore. He was a kid, actually. She taught him. She taught him for a year, and the guy just ran away. Now she has to absorb his work. It's a lot of work, and that's being flexible. What else can you do? And she has done that a lot of times. Her supervisor, the production supervisor, just left. Same thing. I have to absorb that job. So her position is like the everything in the company, you know. That's crazy. Okay. Being flexible, determination, and persistence. Determination and persistence. I call this being stubborn. Stubborn. I love that word. You know what is being stubborn? Stubborn. stubborn. I'm going to send it to you here. That's one of my favorite words, stubborn. Obstinado. That's me. That's me. When I when I start, for example, cleaning the house, I don't stop. I don't stop until I finish. That's that's something good sometimes. Okay, being a quick learner, and this is something that I hear a lot on interviews. I used to I used to hear a lot on interviews. Oh, don't worry, just teach me how to do it, and I will do it. And no, okay, you could <laughs> be. It sometimes it happens, right? Not all of the time. And good time management that's critical on any position. So skills, abilities. You are born with abilities. You develop skills while you work and you gain experience. Is this a skill or an ability, what you're doing right now? 
skills. It's a skill. For some yeah. of us, for some of us, is an ability that we have developed in time. These people that say, I love English. I mean, since I was a kid, I listened to English music and I loved it. And now they learned really fast. That's good. Okay. Questions, observations, suggestions? No. Okay. Hey. Just say no, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> All clear. Okay. So far, so good. So let's go to your workbook again. I need someone to expose or come to the front and say their role play. Do you have something ready? Third time. No? Okay. Let's take it back to page 11. We're going to do exercise six. Okay? Exercise six using not only but also or both and. Okay? Look at this chart. Remember what we have learned on page 11, not only, but also both and. As a team, I need you to resolve this exercise. Si ya lo hicieron algunos, no solo dejen, no solo den las respuestas. Permitan que quienes no lo han hecho puedan uh, aportar al grupo, ¿ok? Questions? No. The number of the, the, the page? Page number is 11. Page 11. I'll send you the screenshot in just a minute. Wait a minute. There you go. Okay. It's on your WhatsApp too. So I'll, I'll split you right now in a few groups so we can uh, work together as groups in teams okay let's get together please todos se mueven hacia su grupo nadie se queda aquí si no se queda chueco el otro grupo uno solo en un room and that's, that's not okay so let's go Circle the option that best completes the sentence. Compare your choice with a partner. Ah, yo intenté hacer eso no pude. Is the is the real bad but. It's uh, two ideas, I think. And the first, mm -hmm. and the I first, think, whether, whether trainer... Who is the best? Where training or formal education affect an employee professional development? Yes, I think. Um, uh, see, then. Uno, uh, one, eight, two... They are online course of affordable uh, way to learn, to learn. They are a good way. Not only are online course. Not only, not only, maybe, not only courses and affordable 
way to learn, but also they are good way to post on your Number two is A. Uh, the first is not only not only our online course and affordable way to learn. Either they are a good way to boss to resume. Yes, but the number two is not only our online courses and affordable way to learn, but also they are good made to Boston Europe. Mm -hmm. I think it's or not only or either. Uh -huh. Not not only our online course and affordable way to learn either. They are a good way to boost your resume. Is the number eight again? Number, yeah, number three. Three. Neither. Neither. Neither nor. Ne neither. Neither nor. Or no. Neither. No. Bueno, mío, me quedé aquí. Hello, Susana, Silvia. Mario. Hello. 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 Give me just a minute, please. I just took you back because I noticed something. Okay, I think we're all back, right? Creo que regresamos. So, señores, si lo divido, no es... O sea, estamos en una clase, hay que encender la cámara y participar. Porque se siente bien feo que solo un alumno esté ahí hablando solo. Yo sé que muchos están trabajando, lo comprendo. Eh, por lo menos déjenle saber, ¿verdad? Hey, estoy trabajando, pero ya, ya me conecto, entonces lo saqué, no estoy molesto, jamás yo me enojo, eso no se debe de hacer, si ven que algún profesor se enoja alguna vez y lo regaña o sea, ya somos adultos o sea, ¿de qué sirve? So, come on 
voy a hacer un poco más grupo, grandes los grupos, necesito ver su participación en el grupo, no por mí, o sea, es por ustedes, y igual recuerden que estamos grabando la sesión, y en SAFORP está pendiente, audita las clases, y es como que, uh -uh, ese programa no va para más, los alumnos no participan, no hablan inglés, mejor cerremos el curso, se imaginan, chao. No, do it. Try, try, try. That's the whole point. So let's do it one more time. Bigger groups, only three groups. Let's go. Lo mismo vamos a hacer. Let's go. Quiero ver los amigos. Uh, okay. You finish the exercise. What about yours? With you Carlos, finished. Alfredo? Mm, yes, we with did it. Partner in the number three, four. Ah, you, you I, already, I already did it. Ah, okay, but we can. Yes, we, we can compare. We can compare and help to Maria Elena to finish the, the exercise. Okay, uh, I start the first. Yes, with <laughs> the, the first. first uh, is uh, weather training for my weather training or for my education affect an employee professional development. Uh, we are a different answer. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Yes. But Both training, training and yes. formal education. Formal education affect an employee professional development. Yes. Do you agree, Maria Elena? Les creo porque todavía no entiendo bien cuál es la diferencia entre ocupar una y el otro. No entiendo. Eh, whether whether uh, we didn't yes. see this topic but well, but and but and yes uh -huh. this, this is the topic whether in spanish is sea que o si sí. no, 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 no pega no 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 da <laughs> there is no common sense yes and both and significa ambos, ambos. entrenamiento y educación formal Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. is yes. to find the best, the best. Is the best option. So, the yes. best option to complete the sentence. Mm -hmm. And what about number two? The number two. Entonces sería. Mm -hmm. and yes, uh, not only our online course yes. uh, affordable affordable way to learn uh, but also they are a good yes. way to your resume yes. yes letter a yes i agree all right i agree Number three, uh, letter to get a promotion in June, normal and uh, three, a uh, bad experience, neither education or requirements to get a promotion. Yeah, Nelson, are you okay? Yes, yes. Norma, the, the next. Norma, I, I only have a question. Why do you think that uh, uh, neither the experience nor the educational requirement to get a promotion? Uh, bad, bad experience in either education. Sorry? The sentence? The, the, 
the number three, you said that neither uh -huh, experience but, nor education. No, are no, but, but, but experience, neither oh. education. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, 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 sorry, I, I, I thought that you, uh, that you said the, the, the A. Okay. No, no. Option B. The um, next Mario for you. What is the correct option? The four. People interested in professional development. Yeah. Um, These uh, people interested in professional development can only subscribe to our newsletter to get more information of courses, but also a register for new courses notifications. I guess the B. John B. Yeah, because no, it, uh, I guess I guess it's A because uh, not uh, uh, not. People interested in professional development can cannot only not cannot only. only cannot only subscribe to our newsletter to get mm -hmm. more information on courses, but also register for the new courses notification. What's meaning newsletter? Uh newsletter is like uh yes yeah okay. number four is a people's preparation number one b is a a two a three b four b five b and okay. six a Ah, okay. Yeah. Maybe we can read the sentence with the correct answer. ¿Cómo? Maybe we can read the sentence with the correct answer. I start. Uh, number one is both training formal education aspects and employees professional development. Again, both training and uh -huh, both training and formal education aspects and employees professional development. Yeah. Uh, number two, uh, not, on, not only not only are online course in a affordable way to learn to learn, but also but but also but also. But, but also, they are a good way to boost, boost your resume. Your resume. Okay, number three. Number three is letter B. Yes. It's both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. To get a promotion. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four. Is a video. People interested in professional development can only subscribe to our new letter to get more 
um, information of course, but also resistant for new You know what, let me go ahead and share my screen with you so we can do the um, answers really quick or just read in the right way. So what would be number one? Can somebody read it out loud? Both training and formal education affect an employee's professional development. Perfect. So do we all agree? Yeah, teacher. Okay, so that's letter B. Okay. How about number two? I have I have a letter A, not only but also. Okay. Read it. Uh, not only are online courses of affordable way to learn, but also. They are a good way to boost your resume. Boost. Boost. <laughs> yes, you got it. Okay, so that will be letter A. What, what about number three? Someone else? Letter B. Three, letter B. Can you read it? A bus experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Perfect. Number four. Letter A, people interested in professional development can not only subscribe um, to, our to our newsletter to get more information of course, course but also register for news courses notification. Perfect. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah, it was clear, right? Because here it says not only, but I mean, it says only for there is the not. Okay, number five. Letter B. Mm -hmm. The company not only needed a management manager to encourage training opportunity, but also a person to work closely with the employees' professional de development. You got it. And last one. Letter A, it is the responsibility of a leader uh, both to encourage learning of new skills and to promote the participation of employees in training and coaching sessions. Perfect. I think you got it. You nailed it. You've nailed it. Very good. Okay, so tonight I'm staying with who? Stuck with Diana before Diego was the last one on Friday. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Okay. Hmm. What? <laughs> uh, we, we're staying 10 minutes. Ah. Okay. okay? <laughs> yeah. We, we're going to talk about past right now. So everybody should watch the last 10 minutes of this class later. Okay. And I'll send you the video as well. Okay, guys. Good night. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Good night, teacher. Good night. Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Cristia Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present and good night. Good night. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Present, good night. Good night. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. I'm here. Good night, good night. everyone. Good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Good night. Good night. Go to the south. <laughs> María Ernesto Villeda. Present. Bye all. 
Hey, see you tomorrow. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Uh, aquí estoy. Eh, lo siento, está una llamada, perdón. Sure, no, no problem. Good night. Nelson Good night. René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good sí. night. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present, teacher. I did not, I didn't connect my internet in the first attendance. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Okay, okay. So where shall we start? Hmm? Was action well, reaction that? action reaction? What? Yeah. Oh, we had. I, to... Go ahead. I I know I have I have a, a lot of issues with the with my with my learning, but I I consider the most important are I forgot. Or forget the the words when I want to to speak something. Maybe sometime I'm well, most of the time I I'm thinking in Spanish, mm -hmm. and I need to translate. That is a a big problem. But I consider I need a word connection to. To, to do that, connect mm -hmm. sentence and be able to continue the, the, the idea. conversation. Yes, the idea. And I know I had a problem with the, the past tense. I forget the mm -hmm. the tense when I when I was talking. Uh, also consider I have some problems with verb to be and with the use of the article, I, I consider I use uh, many times the article. Y eso se llaman muletillas. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Veamos. Eh, bien, Jorge, necesito que me hable sobre transporte, medio de transporte. I know. Uh, espérame, 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 vamos a hacer una cosa. Aquí tengo esto. So let's see. Vamos a aplicar lo mismo. Ok. Bien. 30 segundos. Vamos a aplicar 30 segundos nada más. Ok. Necesito que me hable en español sobre medios de transporte, Jorge. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, dele. Conozco varios tipos de transporte, transporte aéreo, marítimo, terrestre. Eh, entre los terrestres podemos mencionar trenes, carros, bicicletas. Eh, conozco también muchas vías por donde circulan este, este tipo de de transporte, pero considero que las vías no están en las mejores condiciones y que hay mucho que trabajar, hay bastante que rehacer. Ok. Hmm. Cuando uno habla de cualquier tema, suelen surgir diferentes situaciones en nuestro cerebro. Lo primero que vamos a identificar son los tipos de las cosas con las que estamos lidiando. Si hubiese dicho rocas, hubiese empezado a hablar de los tipos de rocas. Lo segundo puede ser dónde el encuentro, dónde. Entonces, esto responde a la pregunta what, el qué. ¿Sí? Responde a la pregunta cómo, también. Las rutas o los lugares donde encuentro las cosas, responde el where. 
¿ok? Usualmente puedo describir a profundidad el objeto y es, es como un proceso que mi cerebro va a seguir, ya sea en español o en cualquier idioma. Lo que va a hacer mi cerebro es ir de lo, de lo, de lo abstracto, no, quiero ver de la idea general, de lo general a lo abstracto, de lo general a lo abstracto. Entonces voy a empezar por lo más obvio <ríe> y hasta llegar a lo más abstracto, a lo más mínimo. Entonces lo último va a ser describir el objeto. Condiciones de las rutas bien a profundidad en cuanto a dónde me encuentro, en qué condición se encuentra ese lugar en el que se encuentran. Entonces, eso de las condiciones de las rutas podría responder al... Perdón, aquí era how. Estaba pensando en español. Ok, entonces el what, el how, el where. Y el, el ser muy específico eh, responde al how is it. Describe, prácticamente describir. Entonces, lo mismo va a ocurrir en el inglés. Vamos a utilizar la información que ya rellamamos de nuestro cerebro y vamos a hablar ahora por 30 segundos en inglés. Same topic. Means of transportation. One, two, three, go. I know several types of transportation between this, I can say, I know about uh, aerials. Um, mm -hmm. The rest, no. Keep going. Uh, uh, in the water, in the in the air, in the in the in the street, you can you can use bicycles. Okay, good. So we got stuck trying to describe what kinds, what kinds of transportations we know. And so, dentro de este tema ya encontré una área de oportunidad relacionada al vocabulary. Okay. Entonces tomo un cuaderno, agrego esto y digo, bueno, tengo que investigar sobre el vocabulario de medios de transporte. Okay. Donde se mueve todo. Fácil. Me voy y busco, vea, voy a encontrar, para empezar, cómo se dicen las rutas, dónde se mueven estos medios de transporte. Es it air transportation, uh, ground transportation, <laughs> <Water. laughs> <What are those? laughs> ground tra water transportation, yeah, that's it. No hay otro. Air, water, <laughs> ground, that's it, right? Sí, solo es eso ustedes conocemos como humanos. So, yes. that's it. Y esto se llama Just a Minute. Resum resumido en, en dos minutos, esto es Just a Minute. Entonces, agarro esa técnica, Just a Minute, desde mis raíces. Hablo en español durante 30 segundos, un minuto ahora. Muy importante. Siempre llevo un proceso, ¿no? Vea el video. Eh, porque así va a poder sacar más vocabulario que ya tiene en su cabeza no sé si vieron Limitless no, no les he preguntado si vieron yes. ¿sí? <ríe> sí, Mario. Uh, pues lo mismo ¿no? la información ahí está necesitamos la... la pastilla para liberar ese otro sí, sí, y la pastilla <ríe> pero ahora la, la pastilla ya está dentro de nosotros, ese químico ya está dentro de nosotros, no creo cómo es que se llama pero hay que ocuparlo, ¿no? ¿Y cómo lo voy a activar? Haciendo ejercicio, eh, motivándome a mí mismo, sintiéndome bien conmigo mismo. Eso me va a ayudar a rellamar la información. A mí me funciona eso. Este día me he sentido muy bien. Entonces, la clase estuvo súper bien, siento yo. Y siempre me quedo analizando después de la clase, ¿no? ¿Cómo estuvo? Entonces, seguir ese patrón, ¿no? Español, ok, 30 segundos. Ya, ya, ya rellame cierta información. Hago una pausa, 10 segundos, ¿qué más podría decir? Ok, abro el cronómetro otra vez, ¡pum! Inglés, ahora sí, voy, a ver. Paro, 10 segundos, ¿en qué me trabé? ¿en qué me trabé? Ya mentalmente, no todo esto mental. Ok, vuelvo a intentarlo, 30 segundos. Ahora reíame más información, la voy a tomar en notas, dice el tipo ahí en el video. Voy a tomar notas sobre lo que hablé. Pongo post-it si empiezo a hablar otra vez. Tres, cuatro veces quinta vez ya me siento con confianza pues agarro el celular y digo uno, dos, tres, me grabo ok 
ya me escucho. Y agarro el cuaderno. Uy, ¿qué dije ahí? Para empezar, lo más natural es... Y esa es mi voz. No me entendí. No, no, no. Lo más natural, lo chistoso es... Y esa es mi voz. Qué feo. Ay, qué feo. ¿Sabes qué es cierto? Uno, uno cree que su voz es bien sexy y todo, es fuerte, bien macho. Pero no. Después se da cuenta, lo que los otros escuchan de uno es muy diferente. Es por el eco... que nosotros escuchamos en nuestra voz, en nuestros oídos, es bien gracioso. Por eso los, los cantantes, no sé si se han fijado, Juan Linguerra, todo, se agarran el... <ríe> Entonces, Sí, lo he visto. eso, por eso es bien importante, ¿no? Entonces, auto corregirse. Practicar, practicar y practicar. Ajá, pero muy importante, eso no lo dicen los, muchos profesores, nadie he escuchado, yo, yo soy muy me que me meto en los lives de TikTok y todo eso. La verdad es que todos han interesados en vender sus cursos. No, eh, Pero cuando vos... se enseña, es muy importante que el alumno aprenda de verdad. Y qué mejor consejo que decirle, hey, usted mismo puede aprender, pero tiene que quererse y quererse es autocriticarse y corregirse, ¿no? Entonces, me escucho, me critico, uy, qué raro hablo. Es más, me voy a grabar un par de veces para ver qué tono de voz logro alcanzar si me gusta ¿Por qué no? Entonces, luego empiezo. Dije tal cosa, ok. Esta oración no me suena que le haya bien, le haya dicho bien, le voy a decir al teacher. O le voy a escribir, vea, tal cosa. Esta oración era presente simple. Ya, y iba uno. Poco a poco, poco a poco. Y hoy en día tenemos la bendición del internet. O sea, todo está ahí, de verdad. Le aseguro que si usted se equivoca o tiene dudas con una oración y le escribe en Google. <risa> ah, aquí está esto era. y esa es la ventaja de los bichos de hoy a los bichos de hoy es bien fácil enseñarles porque yo lo que hago cuando me entran un grupo nuevo de, de bichos que aunque me los entreguen en básico 1 empiezo a hacer un muestreo ¿no? entonces la última vez que hice esto fue en, en Fe y Alegría tenía grupos de jóvenes en riesgo le llaman ellos 18, 30 alumnos en un salón callado yo callado O sea, les puse silencio y un solo un aplauso fuerte. ¡Pla! Entonces acá, sin hablar, le dije. Les puse una oración en presente simple. ¿Qué es eso? Le dije en español. ¿Qué es eso? El sujeto. Y esto, el verbo. Y esto, tal cosa. Ah, perfecto. Presente continuo. Ok. Esto, esto, esto. Y así fue. Hasta que ya llegué a los modales. Increíblemente. Y se quedaron. Eh, el, como el 10% nada más entendió y los demás. Ah, ok. Ahí es donde empezamos entonces, con lo demás solo vamos a hablar, 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 y con esto atacamos gramática. Repasamos lo demás, pero chivo, pero con esto empezamos. Da, da, da. Men, y, y así. Y, y les pregunté de un solo, ¿y cómo lo saben? Ah, el internet, teacher, se está todo en el internet, o sea. Y entonces, ¿por qué no me hablan inglés? Y yo empecé a hablar en inglés. Entonces... Sí, están acostumbrados a otras cosas también. Sí, ya nacieron con la compu en... A mí me gusta ese video en el que sale un bebé del vientre y con, el, con el, la tablet ya, ¿eh? ya bien, Para calmarlos es necesario. Exacto. Bien, Jorge, voy a grabar un video ahorita con el celular y se lo voy a ver en el grupo sobre los ID endings. ¿Cómo busco el complemento de lo que voy a decir? Ahí se lo puse. Sujeto. Digamos, presente simple. Sujeto. Verbo. Ok. I run. Yo corro. ¿A dónde? ¿Por qué? Where? Why? ¿Con quién? With who? Ok. Uh, how? ¿Cómo corro? Entonces, cada una de las WH me va a ayudar a crear un complemento. ¿Qué tan largo lo quiero? ¿O ¿Cómo lo conecto? Y después, aquí viene el chiste del juego que me inventé. La preposición ayuda a conectar las acciones que continúan. O sea, un verbo Preposición, conecta. Si no es un verbo lo que sigue después de, de este mismo verbo, entonces no necesito una preposición. Ese tú, que es el que más se, se utiliza muchas veces, ¿no? Entonces, eso nos va a ayudar. ¿De qué manera? Pues agarro un verbo, pongo cualquier preposición, ¿ya? Que puedo poner después. Y ahí es donde empieza el cerebro a funcionar. Eh, so digo, I run. For, ya no digo tú, si te digo I run for, ¿qué diría después? 
Por three hours, ok. Por tres horas, muy bien. I run to. My house. To my house. Y ese tú lo acabo de ocupar como dirección. Ok. Quise, quisiese ocupar otro verbo que diría I run to. To survivor. <laughs> to survive. survive. Y viene la cosa. Empieza con un verbo en su forma base. I run to survive. I run to get healthy. I run to feel healthy. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ahí va. Entonces, tú, si es lo que ver, un verbo lo que sigue es un infinitivo. ¿Ok? To run, to sleep, I, to, y etc. I run about... Ten o'clock. I run about ten o'clock at... At, uh, at the church. At the church. I run about 10 o'clock at the church. Respondí el cuándo y el dónde. ¿Ve? Entonces, sigo con las WH. Buen ejercicio. Podría ser muy larga la oración y luego identificar a qué WH responde esto. Y esto, y esto. Okay. Ya, y estoy entrenando mi cerebro. Ey, va a ser interesante. Sí, sí es que eso siento que el cerebro va como muy lento en esa. ¿Mm? No, 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 no. Ese es el problema. El adulto le dice al cerebro, no servís, pero al contrario, el cerebro es el que ya tiene todas las respuestas aquí adentro, pero el, el subconsciente, ya que es el que uno, no, perdón, el consciente trata de caer al subconsciente. Pues activarlo yeah. es lo que... <risa> no, no, ¿sabe cómo activarlo? Hágale caso. Hágale caso. Olvídese de todo lo que he aprendido hasta ahorita. Hay que desaprender para aprender, decía un profesor español. So, desaprendamos. Desaprender es decirle, la, a, decirle al consciente, hey, sh, 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 déjame hablar, déjame escuchar qué es lo que me está diciendo en mi cabeza. Ah, esto ya lo viste. Es así. Bueno, vamos a Google. Ah, tener razón. Y entre más, ah, tenés razón, escuche. Ah, ya estoy hecho. Ya. Ojalá que sí, que sigamos. ¿eh? Por Nada, el ahí está el error. Sí puedo, diga. No, ojalá. Yo puedo, de un solo. Yo puedo. Ánimo, ¿eh? Cualquier, cualquier cosa. No voy a poder, yo puedo. Diga. Se va a convencer, ¿eh? No Bien. voy a poder, diga. No, yo puedo ahorita, ya. Vaya, ok. Yo puedo. Good night. Good night, Jorge. Take care. Bye, see you.